Disclaimer, all contents provided by this channel are meant for educational and informational purposes only. It is very important to do your own research and analysis before making any investment based on your personal circumstances. Due diligence is the key. Trading market always has a risk involved. Hi mga kachabs! Ngayon ay March 23, so Saturday ngayon. So, huwag natin kalimutan gawin ang ating 6 trading journey vlog. So, pang 6 weeks na. 6 weeks na pala tayo, no? Bilis ng panahon. So, bago ang lahat, we expect that the PSEI ay magte-trading muna tayo sideways with the, with the downward bias, mainly due to the long holiday for the Holy Week on March 28 and 29. So, tara! Let's see at maglakbay aral muna tayo kung ano ba mga magagandang stocks na pwede nating tignan at i-review during this week. At syempre, sa dulo ng video na to, i-check nyo na rin ang aking portfolio. So syempre, lagi naman to, every week natin ginagawa to, i-check lang natin ang ating trading goals for the for the financial year 2024. As of today, meron na tayong dalawang checkmark sa ating trading goals. So, this Forex account is only been created last January 2024. Tapos, nag-fund lang ako ng $500. And if you can remember, last time sa vlog natin, ang balance lang natin ay nasa $727. As, as of now, ang balance na natin ay nasa $742. With three open trading position, namely, sell tayo kay AUDNCD. And nakabay naman tayo kay NZDCAD. And as of today, meron nga pala tayong paper loss na nasa $27. And as of today din pala, ang total profit ng account na to ay nasa $22,825. Ito pala mga kachab. So, yung mga trades natin this week. So, ito yung breakdown ng $15 natin. Total profit ay may counting difference. Kasi may mga swapi na binabayaran yan whenever you hold an open trading position overnight. And for the week, March 18 to 23, ito nga pala yung mga binili at binenta nating mga stocks. So, nagbay tayo kay Emrit saka kay URC. Tapos, uh, LTG, nag-sell naman tayo. Kay Emrit, nagbay tayo sa 13 pesos. Tapos, kay URC, na nagbay din tayo sa around 101 101 pesos tapos kay LTG naman nag-sell tayo actually masyado nga na paaga tong kay LTG dapat pala hindi pa, di pa tayo masyado nagbenta dito no? and syempre check natin ang ating March dividend market calendar mga kachabs take note nyo na lang mga dates na March 26 April 3 April 8 April 11 April 16 at 17. Silipin natin kung sino-sino mga companies na nag-declare ng kalimang dividends sa mga araw na yan. Mga kachabs, take note to qualify. An investor must already be holding the shares one trading day before the X date. And for the type of dividends, regular meaning the company is declaring dividends on a regular basis and special meaning a one-time payment conducted by a company to distribute assets to its shareholders. So, ito pa sila. SEC, oh. Ang taas, oh. 20%. Ito pa. Sirit. Maganda rin. And nauna natin tingnan ay si J JG Summit Holding Incorporated at si Bank of the Philippines Island or BPI. Bank of the Philippine Island or BPI sold its 750 752 million common shares of GoTime Bank Corporation to GoTime Financial GoTime Financial Private Limited Company and Giga Investment Holding the bank said last March 21, 2024 In a disclosure to the Philippine Stock Exchange BPI said that it will sell 744 million common shares to GoTime Financials and 7.96 million shares to Giga Investment Holding Corporation Hold Giga Investment Holdings at at a price of 1.20 per share subject to the approval of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. BPI acquired the GoTime shares 
uh, following the marriage or the merger between the BPI and the, and the Gokong Way owned Robinson's Bank Corporation earlier this week and with Ayala led BPI as the surviving bank. Mga kachubs, next naman nating silipin ay si San Miguel Corporation or SMC. Conglomerate San Miguel Corporation or SMC has dropped its plan to build the 81.5 billion pesos Pasig River Expressway or simply Parex. This is mainly due to the concerns raised by, by the civil society about its likely harmful impact on the environment. Ramon Ang, San Miguel Corporation Vice Chairman and COO said on Monday they were no longer pursuing the toll road project after hearing out the public's opinion. San Miguel Corporation uh, headed north for the groundbreaking of the Pangasinan Link Expressway. The 76.8 km, km toll, ro- toll road will connect towns of Pangasinan to the Binalonan exit of Tarlac, Pangasinan, La Union Expressway or Tip- Tipilex, which is also operated by SMC. The new expressway is also envisioned to make trips in, in and out of the San Miguel Corporation's new Manila International Airport project in Bulacan, more accessible to the travelers from North Luzon. Mga kachubs, next na muna natin silipin ay uh, sila Aboytis Equity Venture at San Miguel Corporation na naman at si First Gen. Aboytis Equity Ventures or AEB dominated the generation sector with market share of 22.47% to the national grid according to the Energy Regulatory Commission or ERC. AEB has installed generating capacity of 5.75 million kilowatts, the ERC said in the statement late Tuesday. Tapos, ito pa yung mga breakdown. AEB was followed by San Miguel Corporation with a market share of 19.78% and has installed a generation capacity of 5.06 million kilowatts. With a market share of 13.27%, First Gen Corporation came third injecting 3.39 million kilowatts into the national grid. At syempre, pang-apat natin, si Ayala Corporation was fourth with a market share of 5.58% or equivalent of 1.43 million kilowatts. ARC said that the Manila Electric Corporation also accounted for 5.4% uh, with an installed generation capacity of 1.38 million kilowatts. And yung mga natira, others. ARC set the, the caps for installed generation capacity annually. Under the Republic Act Number no. 9136 or the Electric Power Industry Reform Act of 2001, no company or related group can own, operate, or control more than 30% of the installed generation capacity of the grid up and 25% of the national installed generation capacity. Mga kachubs, next naman natin na topic ay ang interest rate. So, isang mabilisan lang. Switzerland just become the first developed economy or country to cut interest rate this cycle, saying that the battle adaptation was working. The Switzerland, the Switzerland National Bank is its monetary policy and cut its rate by 0.25% to 1.5%. 1.5%. So mga kachubs, meaning lang yan, ang interest rate na ngayon sa Switzerland ay 1.5% na lang. While the US Federal Reserves left its rates unchanged on Wednesday. So next naman nating silipin ay si Simerara Mining and Power Corporation or simply SEC. So si SEC nga pala ay nag-declare ng cash dividend. So ito siya. SEC currently has a dividend yield of 20%. And the Board of Directors of Semerara Mining and Power Corporation approved a regular cash dividend of 1.5 pesos per share and a special cash dividend of 2 pesos per share, which amount to 3.5 pesos per share. 
Tapos, ang X date naman niya will be on April April 8. So, mga kachops, expect nyo si DMC. Yung parent company niya is magde-declare na ng cash dividend. So, abangan na lang natin next week. Next naman natin tagdan ay si GT Capital Holdings Incorporation or simply GT Cap. GT Capital Holdings Incorporated has disclosed today an 82% growth in its core net income to a record high 28.8 billion pesos for the full year 2023. The company's historic performance was brought by the following. So, ito nga pala yung income summary ni JT Cap. So, unahin natin si Metro Bank, the banking arms of the company of the holding company uh, re registered record high earnings of 4.2 billion pesos up ng 28.9% year on year driven by asset expansion higher margins improving efficiency levels and better asset quality tapos total, consolida con total consolidated assets expanded by 9.2% to 3.1 trillion pesos in 2023, maintaining its status as the country's second largest private universal bank. Tapos, next naman natin ay si Toyota Motors Philippines. Toyota Motors Philippines consolidated net income grew by, na, by an impressive 145% to 13.8 billion pesos in 2023. Strong sales from Vios, Hilux, Race, Innova, Hiace, and Wigo models contributed to Toyota's remarkable results. Toyota maintains its dominance in the automotive industry with an overall market share of 46.2%. Next naman natin is si Federal Land Incorporated. Property company reported a significant 65% increase in its core net income to 2.1 billion pesos in 2023. This is mainly driven by the sales of season residents, a joint venture with Nomura Real Estate Development, and Isitan Mitsukoshi Holdings Limited. Both aforementioned, aforementioned projects are located in the Bonifacio Global, Bonifacio Global City or BGC, Taguig. Next naman natin. Yaksa Philippines, Consolidated Life and General Insurance Gross Premiums reached 25.6 billion pesos for the full year of 2023. The insurance company Consolidated Net Income increased by 4% to 2.6 billion pesos in 2023. Next naman natin ay si Metro Pacific Investment Corporation. Consolidated reported net income attributable to the company rose by 91% to a Record high 20 billion pesos in 2023. This is mainly driven by the strong performance of the power generation business and higher tariffs and build volume at water concessions. So mga chaps, nandito tayo sa last segment ng video natin. Siyempre, check nyo naman yung aking portfolio. So balikan lang natin to pala. Uh, ito nga pala yung mga binili ko. Uh, si Emrit, bumili ako sa 13 pesos per share. Tapos si URC sa 101 pesos per share. Tapos si LTG kahit medyo napaaga. Uh, okay lang. Si LTG nag-sell na tayo sa 9.63 pesos per share. Kay LTG magbabay back tayo sa around 9 pesos. Pagka bumulig siya sa mga around na ganun lugar, uh, magbabay buy back na tayo. Mga ka-chubs, currently, meron akong 13 stocks na hawak ngayon. Ang top 5 largest stocks na hawak ko ngayon ay si RCR with 19.32%. Next naman ay si RRHI with 13.56%. Uh, next naman is si Tel with 11.25%. Tapos si Pirit with 8.76%. And lastly, si Converge with 5.79%. If you will notice, yung aking portfolio is halos lahat ay dividend stocks. Tapos, ito mga kachops nga pala mga small description kung bakit ko binili yung mga stocks na hawak ko. 
So, sa power sector, meron tayong isa, si Avoidis Power. Leading leading in power generator, generation sector. So, napaliwanag naman natin sa nakaraang mga slides. And for REITs, meron tayong tatlo. Tapos, meron silang average shield of 7.5%. And for Telgo, dalawa, si Converge is kasi growth company and likelihood of dividends. And pangatlo, si Tel or PLDT, strong fundamentals and attractive valuation. Actually, dito, baka madagdag na natin si Globe dito pagka medyo gumanda-ganda pa yung price niya. And for holding company, isa na lang siya kasi nabenta na natin si LTG. So, si DMC na lang mag-isa to. Kasi, uh, bakit? Dividend yield of at least 10%. So, kay LTG, buyback tayo dyan sa mga around 9 pesos. And next natin sa industrial, DNL, to benefit from DOE's mandate. Mandate to increase from 2%, yung current niya will incrementally rise ng 1% per year. So, sa biodiesel to. Tapos, kay URC, no tax increase on salty snacks and sweetened beverages. And sa banking naman, kay Metrobank lang tayo uh, to benefit from high interest rate. So, high interest rate equals to higher incomes income sa mga bank. And next naman natin, sa service, may isa tayo. RRHI gains from the partnership with BPI are anticipated to all, all, already materialize. So, tagal na, tagal na ako naghihintay dito kay RRHI. Sana naman, makabango na tayo. Grabe, mga gokong waste tax. Grabe. And for mining, may isa, SEC, almost 20% ng dividend yield. Tapos yung CHP acquisition rumors. If you enjoyed today's the video, make sure to subscribe to Code Shobby Trader, like the video, and share with family and friends. I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye for now!